So I needed something that had recurring revenue and had also allowed me to test early on. And like a monthly box is actually a great way to like, we, ha we started with a beta in January 2016 with like 20 subscribers and that was like 100% friends. Uh, we actually did over 22 million in revenue um, and um, just um, fundraised a Series A as well and announced that just in January. So we raised about 22 million dollars at 100 million valuation. Yeah, so I, I actually never intended to become an entrepreneur. <laughs> And as soon as I started doing it, it was, to be honest, a little bit addictive, like, because yeah. the growth and everything, exciting, like, honestly. that's very exciting, but also, it's all on you. Like, the sense of responsibility. Whatever you put into it, you get out. And that feels really awesome. You control your own destiny, sort of. Dans cette vidéo, nous interviewons l'entrepreneur Danny Teng, qui est le fondateur et CEO de la box Boxu, la plus grosse box à l'international dans la niche des snacks japonais. Vous allez voir que Danny Teng a une histoire incroyable, car c'est un entrepreneur qui est parti de zéro. Lors de son lancement, il avait un très faible capital de départ, et son premier mois, il n'a obtenu que 40 abonnés. Mais il a persévéré et a réinvesti ses bénéfices petit à petit jusqu'à faire littéralement exploser son business. Il est maintenant à la tête d'une box qui génère plus de 20 millions de dollars récurrents chaque année et a réussi à passer de zéro à une entreprise valorisée à plus de 100 millions de dollars en seulement 5 ans. Danny Teng a une vision très positive sur l'avenir des box par abonnement et prévoit encore une explosion du marché sur les années qui viennent. Lors de notre voyage à Los Angeles, nous avons eu la chance de le rencontrer et d'échanger avec lui et il a accepté de faire une interview pour nous partager son parcours et ses conseils. C'est JM, l'un des membres de notre équipe, qui s'est chargé de l'interview. Donc vous allez voir, ça va être très intéressant et inspirant. Alors, c'est parti. Hi everyone, JM from the co-founders here. I have the pleasure to be with Danny today. Danny is the founder of Boxu Box, which is a huge box, obviously, that you may have heard of uh, on our channel as well. Danny, many thanks for being with us today. Um, yeah. First of all, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm a little, little hungover. But yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> last night was, uh, it was too much fun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's that's what you know, these events are for as well, you know, obviously. Um, could you start, please, by uh, telling us your background and, you know, uh, before you started, what, what you do, what you study? Um, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm from New York and I um, went to Stanford for school and studied psychology and Japanese. Uh, after I graduated, I got a job at Google working in digital marketing. Oh, cool. um, this was back in 2008. Um, after about a year, though, I quit and moved to Tokyo and ended up living there for four years. I was working at a Japanese tech company called Rakuten. Um, yeah. And that's where I got business flown in Japanese, got to like eat a lot of amazing food and snacks and travel throughout the country and um, moved back to New York around nine years ago now where I, I live now and um, studied computer science at Columbia after that. And so like just a lot of different la random life skills that all ended up um, stumbling me in entrepreneurship and I started Boxy as a solo bootstrap founder six and a half years ago now. Oh, okay. Well, that's fascinating. Um, what made you go from like being employed obviously in these big companies to want to have your own business? Uh, what, what was the main uh, motivation behind that? Yeah, so I, I actually never intended to become an entrepreneur. <laughs> that was okay. actually not like from the beginning I just thought I was gonna work at these tech companies. But what I found after I had worked for a couple of them was that I just didn't get excited about work okay. and I thought that maybe it meant I was like lazy or something but it turns out it's that I just didn't have any impact in these large large companies but if you do something yourself and as soon as I started doing it it was to be honest a little bit addictive like because yeah. the growth and everything exciting, like obviously. that's very exciting but also it's all on you like the sense of responsibility whatever you put into it you get out and that feels really awesome you control your own destiny sort of absolutely and what made you choose the box business is it the business model um, I mean what what was the um, what was the reason behind that yeah so um like the probably number one reason was because I was a bootstrap founder as I mentioned so I didn't have external funding yep. so I needed something that had recurring revenue and had also allowed me to test early on and like a monthly box is actually a great way to like test products, get feedback, reiterate, make it better, because it's not some like CPG product that you have to buy like 30,000 of. Um, and so uh, that was one of the big reasons, because I was so scrappy and bootstrapped. Yeah, obviously. Well, yeah, it's good you mentioned all the reasons, all the, all the advantages of the box business, obviously low risk, um, recurring revenue and so on. Um, can you please tell us a little bit ab about your box, about Boxu? Um, what is it about? What kind of products um, are we going to find inside? Yeah, so our whole mission at Boxu is to bridge cultures through authentic food. And so kind of our first kind of flagship kind of core product is our um, Boxu Snack Box, which is a monthly curated authentic Japanese snack box. We directly partner with these centuries old generational family businesses throughout Japan 
that have been making their like Hokkaido red bean bun or Kyoto matcha cakes for like 150 years or something. Um, and so every month we curate around some type of different theme, whether it be seasonal, festival, cultural, region, um, and then it's all packed in Japan and shipped directly to customers worldwide from Japan. Yeah, that's great. We actually tried your box with the team and we loved it. I oh. think, it was, uh, <laughs> I think awesome. it was great. Yeah, Yeah, France is actually one of our top 10 countries. I really? think a lot of Is French it? people love Japanese culture and snacks. Okay, well that's great. Um, can you tell us about like the um, like the situation now uh, with your box, like the, the results that you have, uh, basically the um, like the, the team. The, um, yeah, yeah. So um, when I started, I launched in April 2016, and yeah. it was just me at that time. Um, but now. Of what is it now? Six years later, yeah. I guess. Holy shit! And um, it goes by fast. That goes, goes by fast. So I have a team of fifty now that um, I that like kind of work. And we're also really passionate about our mission, and love food, um, and all different things from marketing, creative, to logistics. Um, and we've kind of grown quite a lot. So like last year, uh, we actually did over twenty-two million in revenue, wow. um, and um, just um, fundraised a Series A as well, and announced that just in January. So we raised about twenty-two million dollars at a hundred million valuation. Well, that's great. That's great to hear. Um, so basically, for those who don't know, you started with as little as 40 subscribers. Mm -hmm. I mean, which can be satisfying, obviously, but compared to what you reach now, it's uh, obviously uh, not a lot. If you had one secret to go from a 40 subscriber company to one that is worth now 100 million, what would it be? <laughs> one, secret. one secret. Only one secret. Only one. Um, hmm. Actually, like, if I was to only say one thing, it is about, I mean, it's, people say this, but it's so true. You need to fire yourself at, from many different jobs. Like, you can't do everything as a founder. It's impossible. There's only one of you. And so you need to hire the right people to help you do marketing, e-commerce, creative, all of that. And, like, finding those right candidates is really important. Although it's not perfect each time you hire so you also have to be ready and willing to lay them off if it doesn't work out it sounds pretty rough but like yeah you, well, like talent okay. is yeah. everything is, of course. is inc incredibly important to growing company okay well, that's good to know um what what can you wish for uh box in the future what are your ambitions where do you want to go uh, with the company uh the big plan is to kind of grow beyond the box the box still has a lot of growth ahead of it yeah but like is to create like an online kind of membership community marketplace for people to not just get snacks on a monthly basis but buy Asian pantry items or like Japanese kind of food or cuisine and things like that uh, we would love to get into being able to ship frozen and alcohol products as well all throughout America and this new venture we have box of grocery okay so basically yeah you want the whole experience uh, yeah for so the become the yeah. premier online destination for like Asian food products well that's that's great um, now um, obviously we're getting close to the end I uh, won't take too much of your time if you had one advice for someone who's um, like hesitating to launch their box business what would it be uh, I would say that if they're interested and they have a good idea and they believe they have some type of differentiator in the whole market, like it is actually a relatively low risk thing to do, especially because nowadays there's so many awesome, easy platforms and technologies that can just connect. Um, so you could probably get started with like $5,000 to be honest and like don't overthink it. Don't like make it so beautiful and like put all this money into it. Do some minimally viable product, that's yep. kind of what I did and launch it and see how people like yeah, do a beta. and then right. yeah obviously. like do like a we had we started with a beta in january 2016 with like 20 subscribers and that was like 100 percent friends and like get feedback see if this is something worth doing and you know if it doesn't work out you can pivot or try something else obviously yeah that's great advice yeah obviously well danny thank you very much for your for your time yeah, and thanks uh, for having all the best me, for your future thank you thank you bye bye, -bye. <laughs>